Hi everyone. So I was checking out my social media a few days ago and then I bumped into a photo from uh, Paul Tizak, one of the regulars here on the channel. And he had an awesome photo of a hoverfly and uh, which he called uh, spot on. And it really got me thinking, well, I have my 90 millimeter macro lens. So we have two insect hotels, one that I uh, got as a present over here and the one over there that's, uh, that I built with my youngest son Thijs. And then I noticed bees flying in and out. So the insects were all busy in the garden and I didn't actually notice it. Normally with photography I'm all about mammals and uh, birds. But I thought, well, let's spend an hour or two with my macro lens and see what I can capture. You guys probably already know, I always try to play with this yeah, shallow depth of field. So the background is uh, yeah, nicely out of focus, so the attention is really drawn to the subject. I'm not using a, a tripod because I do want to be mobile if something happens over here or here or over there that I can quickly move around. So I will use autofocus. The thing just is, if for example... Oh. I have seen the bee going in and out, for example, from this hole. So I want to be prepared. I already see the bee coming, hovering before this uh, hole, with the background out of focus. Well, if I wait until the bee is there, I'm going to focus, then he's already inside. Then, then I will miss a lot. So what I do in that instance, I'm not focus, uh, not keeping the focus point also on the hole because then I would need to move the focus to where the bee is, then I'm also too late. What I do is uh, focus on the hole, then let go of the, of the, of the shutter release, so uh, only half press to focus, then I let go and then I move to where the bee is. Then the moment the bee arrives, I can again press the uh, shutter speed for focus and fire away and then I have it on on high burst mode so I have a lot of photos to choose from this way I still have a lot of photos yeah where the focus is not exactly where I want it but I I came up with a few shots that I'm really happy with If you have uh, another technique you want to share how you focus on moving insects, I'd love to hear it um, below in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, a like and a comment would be much appreciated. And also do not forget to subscribe. Also hit the notification bell then, then YouTube will let you know whenever I've uploaded a new video. I'll see you in my next vlog.